I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel. Thank you for joining us. Now, the number eight is the number of Jesus Christ. And this is very important. This is about biblical gematria, which is the ancient Babylonian system of coding adopted by Greek and Jewish scribes when they penned the Bible. Now, the number eight is also the atomic number of the element of oxygen. The planet Uranus is a harbinger of revolution, political activism, and radical behavior. Notice I said radical, which means that it is an element that reacts due to the presence of an uncoupled subatomic particle or particles designated as an electron or electrons in subatomic physics. These free radicals can cause damage to an individual's health and are usually treated with antioxidants naturally produced by the body. Now, cholesterol is such a natural antioxidant produced by the body. It's what God gave you as your natural antioxidant to fight off the free radicals caused by much oxygenation. Remember, oxygen, the atomic number is eight, and the number of Jesus Christ is what? Eight in gematria. This is why many physicians caution their patients not to allow their cholesterol levels to get too low because very decreased cholesterol levels don't provide enough antioxidant, uh, antioxidants to stave off malignancies and these types of things. Now, oxygen is known as a substance that is necessary for life, but it also causes free radicals in the body that often harm DNA via the oxygenation process. This is demonstrated in that we see that the oxygenation process causes iron to rust, for example. So we know that this is true. It's simple, basic uh, physics. It's just simple chemistry, really. An antichrist, and understand this, an antichrist is none other than the antioxidant meant to create inert substances or groups of people that are not radical and do not react. Therefore, we see that Jesus Christ is the radical oxygen atom, while the Antichrist is the antioxidant supplied by God to keep the body of Christ healthy. Both are necessary for life. Now, 12 is the number of the Blessed Virgin Mother Mary in biblical gematria, again gotten from the ancient Babylonian system adopted by the Greeks and the Hebrews to write their scriptures. Remember, before uh, Zoroaster came up with monotheism, understand that the Hebrews were a pagan society who had various and sundry gods like everybody else. Now, the atomic number of magnesium is 12, and the number of the Blessed Virgin Mary is 12. Now, what happens when oxygen, the number 8, is mixed with magnesium powder via oxygen gas that is present in the air we breathe? A highly explosive reaction occurs from magnesium while burning that also produces ultraviolet light. This is the power of the Catholic Mass and the secret of the alchemical miracle of the Catholic Mass exposed. This is the miracle of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the Infant Jesus. This is the first revelation of Our Lady to the world. These are the important, long-kept secrets she wishes you to know. She is exclusively giving us this information because it's time for this information to be seen by everyone. The ultraviolet light produced from the miracle of Jesus, born of a virgin, is the combination of Jesus or oxygen applied to the Madonna or magnesium causing the creation of magnesium oxide through 
a magnesium burn. A brilliant white light is produced, but also ultraviolet light is released as well as the ultraviolet portion of the spectrum revealed. This process is used by alchemists to attain communication with ultraviolet beings known as angels or archangels. Much is to be learned from holy guardian angels by those who have been properly preordained and prepared with either orbitally rearranged monoatomic elements or morning dew methods of creating alchemical elixirs. A disclaimer is in order here. High magic can be dangerous. This is intended exclusively for entertainment purposes. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel. Join us again next time. You can have anything you